So hi everyone, welcome to you all in my other video. And today we have very special guest from us from Australia. So Viranji basically is uh, uh, is very close to my heart because you know I completed my bachelor of pharmacy from Allahabad and he is also from the same city. And once I completed my degree, I never got a chance to go back there. You know. So today we will know Viranji that you all know what the clinical trials are under. What is the scope basically? इंडिया में भी क्योंकि इन्होंने बहुत सारे टाइम में जो फार्मेसी की डिग्री इन्होंने ली इंडिया में काम किया उसके बाद फिर ये बहुत सारे साल से यहाँ पर ऑस्ट्रेलिया में मैनेजर होते हैं एक बहुत बड़ी एमएनसी के अंदर है ना तो हम जानेंगे एक सौ जैसे इन्फॉर्मेशन के ब्रिंद जी कल प्लीज गिव अस योर ब्रीफ योर इंट्रोडक्शन श्योर श्योर नो प्रॉब्लम so um as uh, akram sir has already said so i um i did my graduation in india i did uh, i did my pharmacy in 2006 and then i Uh, I worked for a, a production company for one year, and then um, I, you know, like product in production, everything is very monotonous. You do the same things again and again, so that's mm-hmm. why I didn't like it. So then there was an interest that do something new, uh, like which is new every day or something. So um, and I did uh, made a right choice for considering clinical trials. So. Um, and then i started in 2007 so that that time i mean there was so much of uh, like jobs and requirements in india so i haven't done any course that time but to be honest later um like there was a saturation 2007 2008 it was fine and even get get into the industry but later down the line there was a kind of a requirement that you need to have at least certification or some a uh, special course for clinical trials so as you being accepted um, by the by the company so um so that's how i got started i worked um um like till now i'm in the industry as um, uh, as rightly um, akram sir has mentioned so um um yeah i worked in various capacities like line manager project manager and as a um cra or a site uh, manager uh, or site monitor as you say um so and work for like larger cro's like quintiles um um so uh, with i can ppd um senior so, and you know, like uh, we will diff- come to back part. you know biranji mm. this very clearly mentioned that if you mm. complete any science degree basically even you are a health mm-hmm. science background pharmacy dentistry mm-hmm. you are nursing or any other you know mm-hmm. and if you want to come in, in clinical trials so earlier without a degree without a certification you can enter but now a lot of competition so at least there are mm-hmm. so many institute in india also they are offering some certificate course you know so you can get into the industry especially in clinical trials so clinical trial is still i can say that this is a very right choice for you if you want to mm-hmm. think you know uh, apart from the test farms like production or marketing ye do cheezon se aap agar bore ho rahe hain agar kuch alag karna hai to clinical trial ek right choice ho sakti hai aaj bhi bahut sari jobs hain india mein mm-hmm. if you see a lot of big cro's basically they are doing lot of trials in india you know and uh, mm-hmm. uh, and so lot of companies in australia as well you know so we also provide basically very short course for clinical trials if you want to get into this industry you need to gcp certification we also provide you know all those things so this is just a two week course for clinical trial professional if you are looking a job in australia how you can crack this um, uh, first job in australia in this two week we will uh, prepare for you if you are a healthcare professional you are already working in clinical trial in india or maybe you are a fresh year and you are looking at uh, entry level job in india or in your home country it can be help you so avranji uh, uh, can you please tell me um, uh, how many years you work in india and then you how you migrated to australia as a clinical trial or a professional yeah sure so um like i worked for more than 7 years uh, when i was in india so i started in 2007 so till 2014 i was working there, there in india and then after that i moved to australia in 2015 so since i was in the right industry so that clinical research um industry has actually allowed me to apply for pr directly when i was in india and then uh, because you know as you said rightly that it is a global profile and you work for the global um, studies right so whatever you do is recognized in entire world right 
so like you follow the ICA GCP, which is the standard guideline across the globe, right? Okay. So yeah. once you are thorough with that, so it doesn't matter if you are in India or you are in Australia, you are able to work with the same set of principles and, uh, and, and guidelines. So that's why I never faced any challenge. When I moved even from India to work here in Australia, there was nothing uh, different because the only thing which I have to learn was like how sites work, but otherwise um, there was not much of this difference because you still has, have to look for the same sort of um, patient data or um, same uh, protocols, which uh, we do so uh, as usual. So basically worldwide, this ICH, this is the same guideline, whatever mm -hmm. country, for example, in India, the CDSCO here, we have TGA, some other guidelines, you know, so whatever country, the country a little bit change as per their own <clears throat> requirement in the country, but overall <clears throat> the same guideline everyone has to follow. So in, yeah. in clinical trials, if you are working and you are going any other country, so same <clears throat> thing you have to do. But you know, might be the local things you know you, you, you need to yeah. learn in yeah. the beginning. But that is not <clears throat> that is like a big challenging <clears throat> for you if you are an Indian professional and you are to market to yeah. Australia. So you know, earlier is easy, but now still mm -hmm. a lot of companies are looking, they are even um, ready to sponsor if, if, if the right candidate, if, if, if yes. willing to migrate to, uh, uh, yeah, to Australia. Even I know many students, they completed their degree, B form, or uh, they are doing a master degree and still they are doing odd jobs. Uh, for job mm -hmm. me, they are doing like Uber Eats and they are working here and there in a small store, you know. So they don't know how they can enter into the industry. So a lot of jobs like clinical trial assistant, clinical trial coordinator, clinical trial associate, you know, research assistant, mm -hmm. a lot of jobs you can uh, do. I mean, pehli job aapko milna thoda difficult jarur hoti hai, magar impossible nahi hai. Australia market mein bahut sari jobs hain. Aap at least mm -hmm. aapko try to karna hi chahiye. Aapko bahut sari jobs hain. Aur yahan par mm -hmm. achha isko bhi hai. To aap apne mm -hmm. odd jobs mein hamesha nahi rahe. Aap clinical trials mein aa sakte hain. Farm vigilance mm -hmm. है, medical writing है, medical coding है, बहुत सारे ऐसे professions हैं कि आप अपने basically you are coming to Australia, तो आपका ये dream नहीं था कि आप और job करेंगे, पर आप मजबूरी में कर रहे हैं तो okay, I'm not saying कि बुरा नहीं है, शुरू में हर कोई करता है, मगर आपको अपनी field में काम करना चाहिए है ना, तो बहुत सारी yes. jobs हैं यहाँ पर, तो वरुण जी can you uh, give us a rough idea के Australia के अंदर कैसा job का prospect है आपका clinical trial professionals के लिए? Jobs hai yeah, sure. saturation hai yahan pe aapke kya lagta hai aapko nahi saturation to bilkul nahi hai i would just say that ki um, there is lot of requirement and we always have resource crunch so yes. and if you are considering the uh, your uh, clinical research career this time so this is the right time why because yes uh, we have a lot of investment from the investors for the healthcare development because you know we are as we know economically we are looking for a recession so every investor try to uh, invest into such sectors which are more fruitful right which gives yes. highest return so that's why health sector or medicine is the best so that's why every um innovator or any pharmaceutical company they have got a lot of money so that's why they are running a lot of trials to run the trials we need the professionals trained professionals and that's why we have direct requirements here in australia so australia needs uh, Actually, professionals um, who can uh, work you know yeah. when you're saying that this is the right time if you want to enter into the australia whether you are a professional in india you are looking to migrate to australia or you are in australia already you are a student and you are doing some odd jobs so you definitely you can go into an entry-level job or if you have already have some experience in india and you just migrate to australia so a lot of opportunity because you know many of the investors because of the covid time everyone want to invest in the healthcare so a lot of new trials in ongoing in Australia is one of the you know uh, country a lot of companies here a lot of CROs working here a lot of jobs here so this is the right time for you so uh, uh, can you last may short may what is the salary structure in Australia uh, as yes. a, you know, it's like CRA at least you know uh, rent mm -hmm. what is the salary for CRA 
Yeah, yeah, sure. I will cover that. So basically, um, like when you start, it's firstly, I would say it's a very rewarding career. Like if you are looking for any other aspects, like when you have science background and you're looking for any options. So I think so this is the best. And as I said, there's a lot of requirement. So if there's a lot of requirement and you are like smart and you learn things quickly so you can progress as well. So um, and opportunity wise, like you can start at the site as a study course coordinator as a trial coordinator as a data entry person or something so that is the basic starting or if you going to the C, uh, to the CRO or the sponsor company you start as a um, like a project specialist or maybe as a clinical trial um, uh, coordinator or uh, assistant so something like that and then you gradually move to the um, to the like at study as a study coordinator at site and as a CRA senior CRA and later on you can go to the uh, middle management and higher management management like the uh, clinical trial managers or line managers or um, into the project managers and then directors and and so on and so forth so um, starting salary like it goes like um, if someone has some uh, experience in India if they have migrated so they can start around 60 or 70 thousand very easily if somebody is, is fresher, they don't have anything um, in, in like in sort of a experience there. So then maybe they can start around 50 or 60, something around that. And then it it goes on. So like I would say that within when you have two years of experience, you, you should be touching around 100,000 in this yes. industry very easily. And then it goes on like 120, 130. So and it yeah it, it goes on and on and it's actually up to you, you know because... entry level job basically you can easily you can get up to around 70 to 80 or 60 to 80 uh, in between you know but it can be gradually very very fast will be increased you know, within two years you can be up to 100 or plus 100 you know uh, so yes. this is maybe right time for you you can enter in this clinical trial course we provide this two mm -hmm. week and we will prepare for you to get into ready to into the clinical trial in Australia. So, we are going to end here. We will meet you in the next video. Thank you for watching this video. And thank you, Viran Ji. Thank you. No problem.